Hey guys, Maywet here, and today I have some more stories for you. Today's stories are all about cars and the stupid, funny, or just bad luck things that happen to them on my mission. Now, you'll notice that this video has a part 1 attached to it, and that's because there are so many of these stories, I cannot fit them all into one video. But it's really funny because before my mission, my dad was talking about how the church will sell its cars to the general public once they hit around 50 or 60,000 miles on them. And they sell them for a really good price. And he was talking about wanting to buy one, but as he heard these stories I'm about to share with you today, he changed his mind. Um, this first story takes place in Bemidji, Minnesota from September to October of 2018. And one of the mission rules is that on every P-Day, which is basically your weekly day off, you have to wash your car. Now most people don't follow that rule and just wash it once a transfer right before it gets inspected at Zone Conference. And a big reason for that is because they make us pay for the car washes. And so that's why most people don't follow it. But my companion at the time, Elder Facepalm, was super anal about following all the rules. Except for a few that he didn't follow himself, but that's another story. Anyways, he demands that we wash the car every week. And he ignores my protest that I don't want to have to waste $10 of my money every other week on it because, you know, we'd be alternating who pays. And um, so we end up washing the car, and whatever car wash we went to, it had like rocks or gravel in its brushes or something because like the, the car got cleaned, and it got cleaned pretty well, but it also got scratched up a ton, like to the point where the scratches made the car look worse than it did before we washed it. And another mission rule is that when a car gets damaged, you have to take pictures, report to the vehicle coordinator, fill out an online form. It's a real pain in the butt, but, you know, I, I see why we have to do it, you know, like insurance reasons and all that crap. So basically, now we have to take more time out of our PDA to deal with all that crap, and it takes nearly an hour. And since it wasn't our fault, though, we didn't get in trouble for it, because, you know, that obviously wouldn't be fair. Well, not even a month later, the car got damaged again. You see, every fall, the town of Bemidji does a special service day where a bunch of volunteers go to old people's homes, rake their yards for them, and then haul the leaves away to dump. And as missionaries, we do about 5-10 to 10 hours of community service a week, and so we volunteer to help do this. So three sister missionaries, Elder Facepalm and I, get put in a group, and we do three houses. And the second house we did had a ton of leaves because it had a ton of trees. And it eventually gets hard to fit them in our car's trunk and close the trunk. And so while I was walking back to grab one of the last bags, I hear a loud thunk. And then Elder Facebomb says, uh, we just dented the car. And I turn around and see this giant dent in the back of our car and I ask what happened. And apparently Elder Facepalm got the bright idea to kick the trunk to, to make it close. And unbeknownst to me at the time, he did this a lot, and a few transfers ago, his companion had told him that this was going to eventually happen. So, now we have to go through the reporting process again. I wasn't too mad, though, since it wasn't P-Day, and I knew I wasn't going to get in trouble since I had no fault in the situation. Well, not only was the vehicle coordinator mad at Elder Facepalm for doing that, but he was mad at both of us and the sisters because apparently it's also against mission rules to haul stuff. Even if it's garbage, we can't haul other people's stuff. That rule, however, isn't written down, and so none of us got into any trouble for breaking it because, you know, if it's not written down, how are we supposed to know it? Um, two transfers after that happened, though, I was companions with a missionary that was sitting next to the vehicle coordinator during that call. And apparently, right after we hung up, the vehicle coordinator turned to him and said, Yes what, Elder? Some idiot, I'm not going to mention who, but some idiot kicked a dent in the car while they were hauling leaves. And, um, <laughs> so, the, so these next two stories happened before I went out on my mission, but they're pretty funny, so I think they're worth talking about here. The first one involved a prank war between two elders and two sisters. And at one point in the prank war, the sisters tied one end of a string to the other's door handle and tied the other end to a tree. Unfortunately, they didn't do a very good job hiding it because the elders spotted it almost immediately. So the elders took it off, then they took a better string, and I don't know if it was like some kind of fishing line or what, but they, they took it, tied one end to the sister's car's door handle, and tied the other to the tree. 
and the sisters didn't spot it, so when they backed out, rather than get stuck like I assumed the elders were expecting, the car the car's door handle gets ripped off. And needless to say, the vehicle coordinator was pissed, and all four of them lost their driving privileges for the rest of their missions. And the final story involves a set of elders doing donuts in the church parking lot on an icy day. Now, this was very common for missionaries to do that in the winter. I never did it myself, but several of my companions did. And it was also very much against the rules, but unless you either crashed or admitted to it, it was hard for you to get caught. Well, these two elders filmed themselves doing it, then they post the video on the mission's Google Drive, and within a few hours, obviously, they both lose their driving privileges. And the vehicle coordinator even said something like, Now, I, I get why you do donuts in the parking lot, and I understand why you'd want to film it, but how stupid do you have to be to post it on the mission group drive? But yeah, those are today's stories about missionaries and cars. There are plenty more, though, don't worry. And not all of them are, you know, this stupid. Some were just plain bad luck, but still hilarious nonetheless. Anyways, I hope you all have a good day, and please like, share, and subscribe for more.